good morning you guys happy friday i am sitting on my couch this morning um i have a few minutes it's about 9 30 right now um, i have a few minutes before i have to head out of the house so i am just sitting here editing um today's vlog um because there were some things going on with my computer yesterday so i could not finish how i wanted to but now i am um just gonna finish up this editing and then we are going to head out and go to work today is friday so i have viva glam oh this is the wrong shirt oh my gosh i'm wearing the wrong shirt oh my gosh i'm so glad i noticed it so let me change my shirt and then i'll just show you what i'm wearing because it's nothing serious and then we're gonna head out um in about 10 minutes so yeah i'm gonna change my shirt because this ain't it and then yeah we'll head to work and have a good day have a good friday okay so i am switched into the right shirt now i just have on these pants one of my fave pants um these leather vinyl kind of leggings and then i'm wearing my cowboy boots today and then i just have on these um really cute earrings that i got from h&m a while ago and then my makeup is just very cute and dainty and simple and pretty like a couple of pinks through on there just because this shirt has red in it and color with this does not look the best um fragrance of the day is um ysl libre intense and yeah you guys so let's head out let's have a great day i hope that you all have a fabulous friday I may or may not be going out tonight. I don't know how I feel just yet. I do want to be social, but I also have to think of my mental <laughs> capacity um, at the same time. So anyway, all that to say, happy Friday. Let's have a great day and no more slip ups today. <laughs> so you guys, I am in the luggage section of Macy's right now because I am investing in some new luggage so um well some luggage in general I have no suitcases I do not own a suitcase you guys can't believe that but um yeah so this is what I'm gonna get because I have $80 in Macy's money from being the best here I'm kidding no I just um helped stop a crime so I paid for their time. I got paid for their time, I should say. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm getting. I'm getting a carry-on and then I'm getting a mega luggage because I told you I'm taking some trips this year. So yeah, I'm excited. Hi, you guys. So I am actually at home right now. Um, and... Um, I actually have to go next door because they keep dropping off the packages to the wrong building. Like, <laughs> it's actually kind of crazy that they're literally not even paying attention because, yeah, they're just not paying attention to the address because the addresses are like literally completely different. Like, not completely different, but it's... They just don't go over one literal building. So I have to do that. And then I'm going to show you guys my storage unit because that's where I'm gonna put my luggage in. But let me drop this off to um, the next building over and then I'll show you my unit. So, um, there we go. I'll just 
mean, the light is on on their balcony, but what is? Um, I know I can't always hear when someone's at my door either. It's my light on in the car. No, it's not. Um, but okay, let's go to my unit now. Okay, you guys, so this is my storage unit. Um, this is provided by my homeowners association. So each uh, condo does get one, I think. I'm pretty sure. Almost positive. Do not quote me. But yeah, so my um, what's in my storage unit? This is my Christmas decorations, most of them. And then um, these, this is extra flooring in my unit the last owners left this for me actually and extra paint there's more paint upstairs but they left me extra paint and extra floors from when they redid both of those so i am going to sit my new my very new 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 dkny luggage in there until it's time to use it but just wanted to show you guys that and yeah. Good morning, my beautiful people. So this is my outfit for the day. This dress is from, I wanna say Fashion Nova. I wanna say Fashion Nova, yes. And then I have my Steve Madden boots. Of course, it's Saturday, so you know. Gotta be a little bit extra. And then this is my makeup for the day. So I did this really pretty pink sparkly eye and then just a really nude lip and then I just have these earrings on from Miss Lola's um and then fragrance of the day is uh Chloe love story so I was feeling really cute and girly today and this is just gives those vibes so we have to go to the UPS store actually because you guys I bought a chair and I don't like it <laughs> So we got to return it and yeah, so we, but I don't have the box. So we got to go to the UPS store and get a big enough box for them, for me to return it when they come to pick it up on Tuesday. So we got to do that. So let's go. And I did not go out last night. If you guys were wondering, um, you didn't see anything. And the reason why is because I didn't do anything. Um, because um the group that i was supposed to go with i guess it was just all gentlemen going that decided they decided that it was just gonna be all all the guys um from the group so yeah i didn't obviously and i was already feeling kind of eh i told you from uh yesterday morning so it also kind of worked out in my favor like that. Do you guys want to see this chair? I got this red chair because I really thought that I was going to like a pop of color, but I, I don't really. I'm going to keep the pops of color only in my decor and not in my furniture pieces. I'm going to keep all my furniture pieces neutral. So let me show you this red chair. It's really not bad, but I'm really looking for like timeless pieces in my home so let me show you this okay and just don't mind the mirror and pictures that are sitting here and the teddy bear and stuff but this is the chair so this is the chair this is what it looks like and it's really not bad but I'm not in love I'm not in in love and I think I want two chairs instead of just one. So I'm looking for a set of two, but in a more neutral beige tone, cause that's the vibes that I'm going for. So yeah, love the red chair, just not for the vibe that I'm going for right now. So yeah. You guys, putting this dag on box in my car was a nightmare. Now I gotta go to work, you guys. I just sent $50 on this box. Um, $70 altogether at this UPS store because I also had to ship something to my grandpa. Uh, Snipes came on as a partner. But yeah, you guys, I gotta get to work. That was intense and I hope this box fits 
the daggone chair because I'm not even sure, but we got to get to work. This box has to sit here for the whole day and yeah, that's what it is. So let it go. Good morning, you guys. I am exhausted. I got in late last night, like um, around one. So yes, that's why we have the bun. And then this is my outfit for the day. So just this top from Sheen. It is a mock neck button up and then these um, patch pants from Macy's and my Kenneth Cole boots from Macy's. These earrings, I cannot tell you where I got them from. I really cannot. If I remember, I'll let you know, but I cannot remember right now. And then my makeup is very simple. My quick 25 minute routine because I stayed in bed a little longer today. And fragrance of the day is the Bottega Veneta Knot. So yes, I'm trying to think, should I put my riding boots on, my Michael Kors boots, or should I just keep these? I think I'm just gonna keep these. Yep, okay. So we have to head out and get started on paperwork because as you guys know, it's Sunday and that's what we do on Sundays. So let's go. Hi you guys. So I am sitting in my office this morning. It is 1048 and the store opens in 12 minutes, but um, you guys know I do my paperwork. Well, maybe a lot of you guys don't know. So I've posted videos about what I do, but I am a retail manager for MAC Cosmetics and that really involves a lot. I am the sales manager, the operations manager, the <laughs> business manager. I'm all of those managers in one. Um, so yes but i am writing my report right now so i wanted to show you guys a little bit of what i report on i feel like that would be cool to just kind of see so i was going to show you that and then i was also going to take you guys upstairs to the main office our executive offices in this building this is my personal office and i'll show you a little bit of what it looks like too you guys mainly see this area because i always sit here this is like my desk area but i'll actually show you what it looks like i guess i realized i never did that and then i'll take you upstairs and show you where i pull my information my business information from but yes so i'm going to show you a little bit of what i report on and then Yes, we will go pull numbers. I'll show you my office and then we'll go pull numbers. Okay, so this is actually the midweek recap from this week. So we send the midweek on Thursdays. I am doing the end of the week right now. It's going in and out of focus. Sorry about that. I am doing the end of the week recap right now, but this is what my reports usually look like so i will start with just laying out all of the business numbers and everything like that i will speak on kind of the pace in the store what's really going on in the store what our competition is in the store like here i wrote that longcomb is in pre-sale for their free gift with purchase which is a big event here in the stores so i just report on that what's going on throughout the week what we're having challenges with what we're succeeding with and then in the bottom part my conclusion i write what we plan to do to continue to be successful or to make up any deficit that we have if we did not if we're not um up to date on where we're supposed to be for the week and everything like that so just kind of um, implementing strategies that we plan to um implement in order to either continue on a path of success if we are where we're where we need to be or how we plan to make up whatever was lost throughout the week. So right now I am actually writing the end of the week recap because our weeks end on Saturday and start on Sundays. 
So our week just ended. So now this one is usually more involved. So I'll show you the one from last week. So this one, you see the numbers, the first part, the numbers part is a little bit more involved because it rounds out everything throughout the week. Um, our loyalty percentage, everything like that. And then the whole week is rounded out in here. And then the conclusion just has a little bit more because how we plan to succeed for the next week and, or plan to make up whatever was missed. So that is what I report on as a retail manager here at Mac. If anyone was ever interested in that, I just thought that would be pretty cool to show. So I will show my office slash stockroom area and then we will go upstairs to the main office and pull numbers. Okay, you all, so I am standing right now at the top of the steps into our part of the stock room. So we come in through that door, that door takes us out to the main floor. So we come in, we come up here, and this is all Mac stuff. So when they leave collection, everything, I don't take anything down. And then here are our lockers where we keep all of the Mac bags. So it has all of our Mac bags here. And then this is what I like to call Artist Alley. We keep supplies and any merchandising things that we need, more boxes of bags, samples, merchandising stuff all over. So that is what we keep here. And we call this Artist Alley because artists will sit here and eat their lunch, things like that. So this is the artist area. And then we come down here and to the left is our stockroom area where we keep any extra stock. I have extra fix plus here. We keep any customer's orders up here, everything like that. More merchandising supplies if we need signs for percentages off, sponges, more samples, samples that we just give to customers things that we can use to create kits, set up kits for gifting ideas, if customers need to have gifts, more displays, things like that, visual stuff. Um, director's chairs, I have two of them downstairs already. So yes, and then just more merchandising stuff and then we come to the right side and this is my office so we have the printer I keep lotion because I go to the bathroom all the time and always need um, lotion so we keep lotion this is what um, we used to clock in on but now we just do it on our phone and then this is my area so I have a fan here this is like my little desk area I actually don't use the area to like type on. I just keep like papers on there and keep my supplies on there. Um, my laptop, I keep it down there um, just because out here it's just too much I feel. And then I have an extra chair. I keep my purse and lunch on. And then I have another um, set up here where I just can store things and such so this is where i get all of my paperwork done this is where i sometimes host interviews because we have another chair here where someone will sit for an interview another box that means nothing and yes so this is my back office and i don't know if i ever showed you but just wanted to show you guys that oh and this is um, like where you can find information. So like the employee self health check, the dress code, if you need anything for like HR purposes, things of that nature is all here. So yes. So this is the computer that I pull my business information from. So this is the loyalty info that I need for this past week. So this is where it comes from. Uh, what? Okay, it does, it's not supposed to look like this. So let me figure out what's going on. 
Okay, so I think there was like a glitch in the system because I could not pull that information. It was not coming up. So I will have to check in later. So I will do that around five o'clock, closer to the end of the day and finish my report then. I'm gonna go down to the floor now and start. I also wanted to add that I'm also the visual manager because I have to do all of the visuals myself, even though there's a beauty visual person in this location. They do not help us at Mac. I do all of that with the help of my boss when she comes to visit will help me come up with where we wanna move things. But for the most part, it is all on me, so. Yes, I really hope you guys enjoyed that, a little look into my work life. And yes, so like I said, I'm heading down to the floor now and we're gonna get this day started. And then I'm off for the next two days, so I'm very excited about that. I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with that red chair because I can't keep it in my house any longer. <laughs> you guys, I gotta get it out, so. Yes. What? Happy Sunday, you guys. Have a great day. I will catch up with you guys later. Hopefully we can make some really great sales today. Papers crossed. You guys, one of the ladies that works in the department came back from her vacation and she got this for me. How cute is the little butterfly clip? I love it. So sweet. Hi you guys. So I am home now. My bun is going that way. So I don't I don't even know. Um but I'm glad to be home because I am exhausted, you guys. But I really, really, really have to pack up this chair tonight. I have to get this done. So I'm gonna do that before I call it a night. Um I have the box right here, so let's just hope that the chair fits in this box because I went through a lot to get this box. So we're gonna do that and let's just see. So, Lego. <laughs> Okay, so not my best packing skills, but it's as good as it's gonna get because, yeah. I mean, I don't know, but yeah. Now I can schedule the pickup because now I know that I have a box. So yeah, that's what we got. All right, you guys, so I am wrapping up this video because your girl is exhausted. I am so tired. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm about to get ready for bed. I am off tomorrow and Tuesday. So I'm supposed to link up with my aunt tomorrow. We're gonna go to the Mac store. Um, and I have other things that I'm supposed to be doing. I can't think of them right now, but you guys know I will take you along. So you will see that in the next vlog, but thank you so much for watching this one. I am going to, what am I gonna do for the rest of the night? 
I'm going to chill and relax and schedule them to come pick up that red chair. <laughs> and yeah, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a great rest of your evening and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.